Hi, I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like uh, this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel at the end. Today we have got a very important uh, topic uh, which is artificial intelligence in ophthalmology. So first uh, we will talk briefly in general about artificial intelligence, that what is artificial intelligence, uh, what are its types uh, and then we will talk uh, what's the impact of um, artificial intelligence uh, on ophthalmology of ophthalmic practice now what is artificial intelligence it is the simulation of human intelligence processes by machines especially computer systems artificial intelligence copies the human thought processes to analyze data and extract conclusions now many practitioners they consider artificial intelligence as a threat to their careers, to their jobs. Now, whether this statement is true or false, it will become clear when you, when you watch this whole talk. So, let's start. Now, top companies like Google, Apple and Microsoft have invested billions of dollars to develop artificial intelligence systems at par or even better than human brain processing. Medical field will be revolutionized when such systems get fully functional. Now let's come to our topic, role of artificial intelligence in ophthalmology. Artificial intelligence first developed its subfield called machine learning or ML. Now, it was the earlier form of artificial intelligence. It focused on the learning feature of intelligence. It copies the neural structure of nervous system of the human brain by creating artificial neural networks, ANNs, which is a network of units called artificial neurons organized into layers now these neuronal layers transform the signal as it travels from the input layer to the output layer large amount of image data must be provided so that artificial intelligent algorithms detect patterns from that data in a training sessions artificial intelligent systems are trained that what signs to look for in the provided data now comes to the more advanced artificial intelligence subset which is called DLR deep learning now it is an improvement over machine learning consisting of more layers of neural networks that permits higher level of abstraction and improved prediction from the data now that was brief intro of artificial intelligence as a general now let's uh, give examples in ophthalmology deep learning artificial intelligence system is developed for accurately screening patients for amd we could start treating early the amd and reduce the burden of blindness now most people with AMD they don't become aware that they are affected until late in the disease process when the damage is irreversible or advanced. So with artificial intelligence that can screen fundus images, primary care practitioners and optometrists might be able to make probable diagnosis and refer appropriate patients. Now, deep learning system is also developed for wet AMD, which not only detects the choroidal neovascularization but also helps ophthalmologists when to intervene and when to observe. D deep learning system also differentiates the retinal diseases based on the location of the fluid accurately, whether the fluid is subretinal, intraretinal, or epiretinal best use of artificial intelligence is in OCT technology. 
Several large trials have done and interpreting such a huge set of imaging data is beyond the human control and it is too much time consuming and can lead to delay in diagnosis and treatment. Artificial intelligence tools are trained to interpret OCT scans as accurately as humans thereby reducing the burden of eye care professionals. Moorefield conducted a study and compared artificial intelligence machine with two best retina specialists and surprisingly artificial intelligence AI outperformed humans in accurate diagnosis. Now comes to the glaucoma. Most patients just like AMD are asymptomatic till advanced stage of the disease so eye care professionals can't screen whole communities to solve this issue. Machine learning based model used RNFL thickness, visual fields, and general ophthalmic examination and detected early glaucoma with 92% accuracy. Again, it outperformed glaucoma specialists when study was conducted. Now AI is used also used for diabetic retinopathy, screening, diabetic retinopathy, diagnosis and management. It is also used in the grading of cataract in grading of keratoconus by Schlemfleck technology and in near future for other ophthalmic diseases as well. Now with early artificial intelligence machines humans were uncomfortable because they will just give the diagnosis and eye care professionals didn't know how machine reached to the conclusion but now latest XAI explainable AI systems are made that not only reach the diagnosis and give you management plans but also reveal the thought process the clues which it got from the data from the uh, information it had that how the machine reached to the conclusion now these uh, user friendly ophthalmologist friendly uh, AI machines uh, they can be trusted and they are more understandable to the optometrists, ophthalmologists and they know their decision making thought processes. So future is of AI machines in each and every medical field and we as eye care professionals we should try to keep pace with these machines because in future we have to work with these machines these machines will work and if we are not able to uh, keep pace and know the things which these machines are then definitely we will lose the uh, our jobs so basically in future, the future is uh, very bright for ophthalmologists, uh, optometrists and other eye care professionals. Uh, more jobs, uh, opportunities will be created with AI. So we should not be afraid of the AI technology in ophthalmology and we should welcome it uh, uh, because it will keep our life uh, easy and uh, most of the thinking they will do and we will just have to give the final conclusion or some surgical intervention so i hope uh, you have got some idea about uh, artificial intelligence uh, in general and in ophthalmology and in future we will also talk more about uh, it uh, as we come to know new things thank you very much